Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ernesto Inarkiev and Ibrahim Sultan. This is a game from Sharia Masters Tournament, played in United Arab Emirates in 2018. Ernesto Inarkiev had white pieces and he started with e4. Ibrahim Sultan played e6. d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, knight to f6, e5, attacking the knight and gaining the space on the board, knight from f to d7, f4, defending the pawn on e5, attacking white center with c5, the standard move, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to e3, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, bishop to c5, queen to d2, showing the intention to castle the queen side, a6, preparing the pawn storm. And in Kiev, a castle at queen's side, not afraid of the pawn storm. Bishop takes on d4. Bishop takes on d4. b5. Here it comes. Knight to e2. Black to move. b4 was played. Perhaps castling should have been considered. b4. White to move. How would you continue? Perhaps bishop to e3 comes to mind. Preserving the dark squared bishop, do you agree? Ernesto in Kiev played very sharp. f5. Intending to make the most of the situation, black didn't castle yet. Pawn takes pawn on f5. If knight on d takes on e5, then bishop takes on e5, knight takes on e5, queen takes on b4. Back to our game. After f5, Pawn takes pawn on f5, and black is threatening to win the pawn on e5, maybe. Knight to f4, and Sultan castle the king's side. If knight on c takes on e5, rook to e1 is unpleasant, and if knight on d takes on e5, then perhaps bishop takes on e5, and after knight takes on e5, queen takes on b4. Back to our game. Castling. And how to defend the pawn on e5? Or maybe that is a trick question. Inner Kiev played e6. Knight to f6. If f takes on e6, knight takes on e6. Forking the queen and the rook. Knight to f6. Bishop takes on f6. Queen takes on f6 and white won the pawn on d5, attacking the knight. Bishop to b7. Pawn takes pawn on f7, check. King to h8. If queen takes on f7, then queen takes queen, check. And if king takes on f7, then rook to d7 means the bishop. And if rook takes on f7, then bishop to c4 is very unpleasant. Back to our game, king to h8, bishop to c4, knight to d8, attacking the pawn on f7, and there is also another, a tiny, tiny threat. In the Kiev, didn't like tiny, tiny threats to his queen. He moved his queen, attacking the rook, offering to exchange queens. Queen takes queen, rook takes on d6, Knight takes on f7, attacking the rook. Rook to d7, forking two pieces. Knight to d8, defending the bishop. White to move. What would you do? Which white piece is not participating in the game? You found it? What is the best spot for that piece? In Archeo played, rook to e1. Intending rook to e7, and then rook takes on g7, maybe. Bishop to c6, attacking the rook. It looks like that white's rook to e7 must wait. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? I would probably find the rook to c7. But in this position, Ernesto Inerkio played a brilliant move. White played the move and black resigned. 
and the movies Rook to e3 Ibrahim Sultan resigned in view of discontinuation Bishop takes Rook Knight to g6 check the only move pawn takes Knight Rook to h3 check mate what tells if in this position Black wants to save the king and plays Knight to f7 then White simply wins a piece. What tells can Black do? Can g6 save the king? How would you continue now? If g6, the knight takes on g6 check, and after h takes on g6, rook to h3 check mate. That is why Ibrahim Sultan resigned in this position. That was a beautiful game by Inner Kiev. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.